In this iMindMap video tutorial, I will show you how you can insert smart cells into your map. There are three different types of smart cells that you can insert. These are spreadsheets, flowcharts and sketches. These can be found under the Insert tab on both a Mac and a PC. In order to insert a flowchart, you simply need to select the branch you wish to add it to and then click on the appropriate smart cell. I will first of all demonstrate inserting a spreadsheet. Make sure that the branch is selected and the blue control points are active, then click on spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will then be opened up in your workspace. You can add in the information you wish. You have a range of formatting tabs along the top, along with the formulas. You can also convert your spreadsheet into a chart by clicking on the chart button, selecting the columns or the rows that you wish to have added to the chart and clicking OK. You also have a range of different charts to choose from. You can then click back onto the spreadsheet to view the spreadsheet. To enter the spreadsheet to your workspace, simply click on Save and then close. This will then be added to your workspace. You can move this around your map or you can resize it using the blue grab handles. If you wish to delete it, in order to edit it simply double click and the spreadsheet will open for you again. If you wish to delete it, again make sure the smart cell is selected and click the delete key on your keyboard. In order to insert a flowchart, again make sure the branch you wish to add the flowchart to is active, then click on flowchart. Here you can drag and drop the shapes into your workspace to create your flowchart. Again you have the formatting tools at the top. In order to add the connectors, you can select the diagonal or the straight connector. Then hover over the shape, left click, drag down to the next box. Once the green box appears, you can let go and the connection will be made. So hover over, the green box will appear, left click down, drag down to the next box when the green box again appears let go and the connection is made to add text simply double click add in your text you can then add this to your workspace by clicking save and then close again you can move this around your workspace and also resize it if needed using the blue grab handles if you wish to edit it to add more text, double click and then if you wish to delete it, make sure it's selected and click the delete key and click the delete key on your keyboard. I will now demonstrate how to add a sketch to your branch. Simply click on the branch you wish to add a sketch to so the blue control points are active. Click on sketch. Here you can use any of the format options along the side to add the sketch. You can also change the colour using the options down here. To insert the sketch to your map, click on save and then close and the sketch will be added. You can edit this by double clicking or you can delete it by making sure it's selected and clicking the backspace or delete key on your keyboard. You can also edit existing images by double clicking. The sketch tool will then open with the existing image. You can make any changes you wish and then click on save and this will be added with the changed version to your workspace.